Hi, this is Ulrich again from Network Technology Academy, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the six mistakes veterans make when filling out the VRAP application. Now, there are six mistakes that I come across most often. These are the top six mistakes when people are filling out the VRAP application. Either they call me when it's too late, or they ask the right questions in advance, and they can, you know, get around it. I'm glad you're watching this video. Hopefully, I can save you some time and some frustration. All right, so you can avoid all of these mistakes if you go back to my 30 some odd minute video talking about the step by step instructions on filling out the application. But uh, if you don't want to go through that video, just keep watching and you'll see all the six mistakes real fast. All right, now mistake number one is not having your direct deposit information ready and accessible. I'm talking about your bank name, your routing number, account number, knowing if it's a checking account, savings account. Um, ETA account, just make sure you have all that information ready so that when you get to that part, you can fill it out. Uh, the VA is only looking to, they will only send benefits through direct deposit moving forward. All right, now mistake number two is staying idle too long while filling out the application. So if you, if you decide you're going to fill out the VREP application, fill it out. Don't go eat lunch. Don't go talk to some friends. Sit down, do it. It takes about 30 minutes to an hour, uh, depending on how fast you, you read and how fast you go. But don't wait too long because the system automatically resets your application after 10 to 15 minutes of not doing anything. And I've had one veteran who had to do his application three times because, you know, he was just taking too long. And I don't want that to happen to you. So that's mistake number two. Number three is choosing not to fill out the application when they get to the part where they have to fill out the school and program information. Now, I, I've been stressing this in a lot of my videos where you don't need a school to get approved for the VRAP. All you're doing with the application is finding out if you qualify and finding out if you can get approved. You're not, it, like, obviously, if you have a school, put it in. It'll save you a lot of grief and frustration. But if you don't have a school yet, then go right ahead. Just fill it out. When you get to this part, skip it. Skip it. You don't need it. All right? Mistake number four is not calling your school. If you find a school, you see their VRAP approved, that's great. But talk to a real human being to make sure that you understand what you're doing. They have specific names for the program that are VA approved. Some programs are not VA approved. So you want to make sure yours is. And you want to make sure that you have the start date. You want to make sure you understand the commitment you're about to make in terms of how much it costs. You just want to talk to someone to make sure you do what you need to do and fill out the right information. Mistake number five is not following up with the VA. The moment you submit an application, it goes into some vacuum. You have no clue what's going on. It's an automated system, and then a human being gets involved somewhere in the process. What you need to do after about two weeks to, to a month is call the VA. If you don't hear back from them, figure it out. See, did you get my application? Has it been approved? If you've been looking at VRAP videos, you probably see one vet, saw one veteran who was on the, you know, just waiting for four hours, and that's been my experience. Some, whenever a veteran calls the VA, you're going to wait a long time. So use a phone that you don't have to worry about your minutes. Use your landline. Figure it out. Call the VA. Follow up. Find out if you've been approved. I have another story where a veteran was approved and we waited a month and a half and we didn't know because he didn't get his letter. But we called him up and we said, oh my gosh, you're approved. We've just been sleeping on this this whole time and we could have been moving forward instead of thinking that we needed to wait longer. So this is a big, big thing. Follow up with the VA if you don't hear back within a reasonable amount of time. And the final mistake, number six, is not having a printer available. Now, I, I don't know. where I Here in Cambridge, Boston area, almost everyone I know has a printer. If you don't have a printer, buy one. If you can't buy one, go do your VRAP application at the VA's office. If that doesn't work, go to a career center. If that doesn't work, figure it out. Find a way because you want to have a copy of your application. You want to document everything you do with the VA so that you know you did everything right. You go to your school, your school's representative is going to ask, what did you do? You can say, here's the proof that I did it. You, you know, we're good to go. Here's my application. Here's my approval letter. Here's everything else, my discharge papers. Just have proof of everything. Put it in a folder. And when you need it, you'll have it. And if you never need it, at least you were prepared. 
All right, so let's recap. Number one, not having your direct deposit information ready. Number two, staying idle too long while filling out the application. You can see I made a mistake there. Don't stay idle too long. All right, number three, quitting when they have to fill out the school information. So if you're, you're doing the application, you're ready to go, you're excited about your VRAP benefits and the training you're going to get, don't stop when you're ahead. You get to the school information, you don't have it, skip it. Number four, not contacting the school to confirm the information. Call your school. It's important. Call your school. Don't assume that you know the answer. Call your school. All right, number five, not following up with the VA. It's important that you follow up with the VA because they're busy. You know, they, this is not the only benefits program they have. They have other things they're working on. So since you are most interested in yourself, take care of yourself. Number six is not having a printer. And if you don't have a printer, at least find a way to save a copy of your application. For Network Technology Academy, I want a copy of the application. For your school, they may, they may not be so strict, but I want a copy. So just have a copy just in case you need it. You never know. All right, good luck, and thanks again for watching. This has been a good time. If you're looking for IT training from Network Technology Academy in the areas of Cisco, Microsoft, uh, security, virtualization, you name it, just give us a call at 617-628-0277 or visit the website at ntai.net. Thank you.